Good morning, sir. Let's talk a little wave the flag for the Mid-American Conference. Wave the flag. <laughs> See if you, have you seen the Jolly Raleigh? No, project? no, I haven't seen this waving the, the flag. The black uh, commissioner come out with the black flag uh, for uh, teams that win uh, uh, power conference games, uh, pull power conference efforts, upsets uh, during the regular season or, or bowl season. This week they have many opportunities, which somebody's going to get one. First off, I think the automatic is Kansas at Central Michigan. I think Central Michigan gets to wave the flag over the Jayhawks. Uh, Jayhawks are maybe one of the five worst teams in, in, in college football, Division One. So I think that's a given. But there's some really interesting Mid-American Conference games. Cincinnati and Miami. They can forget that. They can Cincinnati. 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 After what they did last exactly. week. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's really going to be a a, a, a head knocker. Yeah. I think the uh, before it's all said and done, I think Cincinnati is a top twenty-five team. I would even say they're a top twenty-five team before the end of the month. Oh, that's a good thing. And there's no bias on my my end when you talk about Cincinnati. Right. I just <laughs> understood. <laughs> Western Michigan and Michigan. Michigan better be careful. Maybe. I mean, uh, you know. Nah, no. I know you like the, Michigan. I'm the, telling you, they're, Michigan they're, they're going to be, be fine. Careful. But here's the question before you rattle off those other teams. I mean, do, does, do the power conferences need motivation knowing that the MAC is going to wave this that, black I think, flag? I think, you know, that's, that's pretty interesting. I'm waiting, to see, I'm waiting to see somebody to take that after they win a the game to pull the Baker Mayfield, <laughs> take that sucker to, to the 50-yard right. line and stab it in the astral turf. Right. Then, then you show me something. <laughs> that's when you're legit in my eyes. But there's a couple teams. Buffalo's at Temple. Okay, I think that's, that's a game that, that uh, Buffalo is a little bit underrated, uh, a little bit under the radar. I think that's a game. And I tell you, two weeks from now, two weeks from now, Miami, and you and I both say what? Overrated. You're right, right. Not Miami of Ohio. Ohio. Miami, Miami of Florida. Miami of Florida. Yeah. Miami is at Toledo. That's a game that I think uh, Toledo by then, uh, I mean, they won last week 66 to 10 or 12 or whatever. Uh, I think, and I'm gonna go back to Toledo now. Didn't you tell me that this was a rebuilding year? It's for, a reloading for year for Toledo. But notice, I said reloading. Okay. I didn't say rebuilding. They got that program in, in, in at, at a point now where they are they just plug and play. <laughs> they got players waiting. <laughs> they got players waiting and waiting. Yeah, they're two, three deep, uh, pretty much across the board, offensively and defensively. Very good program, very strong program, and they're built to last.